better. Hmm? See? And now it is gone. You can't see it no more. Looks blended. I do kind of the same thing on this one. Okay. So you see it just it's not a really huge difference. We just add a little bit of white in here just to give kind of a highlight. It'll it'll look it'll be a lot more obvious that we did this once once we put in the outline. Okay. Zoom you fool. <laughs> Zoom me back out there. Okay, that's good. Yes, 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 yes. This is good. This is very good. All right, so we're gonna go straight into the body. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna come here. And this is again kind of I'm going in the same direction as the. As the body's going, so I'm doing kind of a curve right here, and I'm bringing this down, and I'm going right over those paint lines. So now on this part, if you want to, now if you have a really steady hand, awesome sauce, <laughs> you can go right. Awesome. You can go right over these um, nails, but if you have a really steady hand, feel free to switch over to your pointy one and kind of get in there into all the little nooks and crannies and avoid the, the nail marks or where the nails are because that part is going to be just a plain white. But what I found is if you go over it, when you put the white on top of this gray, it stands out a lot more. So it's up to you, you don't have to. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna paint this part of the tummy. And I'm going right up to the trunk. Just kind of focusing on this half of the stomach. Fill this part in however you like. If you want to go side to side, up and down, whatever works best. Just fill it in. And don't forget, if you need to pick up your canvas, move it around. You don't have to just paint with your canvas flat. If it helps you to put it in your lap or anything like that, pick it up. It's a nice, it's a nice small size, so you, you can pick it up. Okay, so we're doing the same thing. You guys, pretty sure you got a hang of it now. Wipe the brush off, get the excess paint off, wipe it on the napkin. Go into this side where the white is, and we're going to do a highlight here on the shoulder. We're going to bring that down. And then on the shoulder to the hand. So I'm bringing it up until, let's see here. And then I'm going to do kind of a curve right here. So this is basically the inside of the elephant's hand. So if you see, uh, if you look at this part, there's a little long line right here. You can still kind of see it on this one. There's that longer line right there. That's basically where we want that this white highlight to go, right underneath that. So if you're like me and you have that, this kind of line here from pressing down, you see how the highlight, so we're just going to do the same thing that we did kind of with the ears. We're going to wipe our brush off and just kind of thin that out so that it looks a little bit more blended. And then we're going to come over here to the stomach. 
just to give a little bit more roundness to it, I'm going to put a little white highlight here. Just to make the elephant look a little rounder. And by going in the direction of the stomach and doing this kind of circle, that will help a lot. And you can be messy with this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so yeah, same thing, guys. We're coming over here. We're going to dip back into the gray color that we have. Color all of this area. I guess I'm just going to... I'm just going to cover this whole thing in. I guess I do... Really precision painters, feel free to use the pointy ones. I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to cover it. You can still see in there. So this one's a little bit different. So since we have the highlight on this side, we're not going to do the highlight in here at all. Because if you notice, we have this ear is actually coming over over the shoulder. So we are gonna pick up some of that white, but we're only gonna do it in that palm area of the elephant. I'm just gonna lighten that up. Put a bit more white. And this is another kind of one of those, those parts where I'm doing it at a, a minus sign to get in there. You can go over or you can do under, that works too. You do like a smiley face. You can do a smiley face or you can do a frowny face. Either, either one. Now this side over here, we're gonna shade. So these are highlights where the white is. And over here we're actually gonna shade a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a, a teeny, See, bit of white. Like that's the tiniest little Dutch. Okay. And I'm gonna mix it over here with some of this gray just to make it darker. We don't want to go in just with the black. So that might be a little too dark. So I made kind of a darker gray color. If you don't feel like that's dark enough, touch a little bit more of the black and put that in there. But a little bit goes a really long way, guys. So don't get carried away with the black. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to shade this part in. And go alongside the belly. Where the chunk is. It's almost like your trunk and the ear cast a shadow. And I'm going to bring this down. Now we're not going to do the whole thing. So I brought it down to a little bit, a little halfway of my arm. And then there's that line there. So I'm just going to, I wiped off the paint on my brush. I'm kind of just mixing that in. Okay. Something crazy. Kind of see it. It's a little bit of of a shadow but again nothing crazy now we're gonna use this same dark gray grab a little bit more black so we're gonna do the dark gray color again and we're actually going to do the bottom part of the hand here now if you can still we should be able to. With still being able to see the um, the nails, you can go around the nails at this part. It's a little bit easier to do on this back end. Let's go over them. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just 
this side over here is probably a little more dry than that side is, so it might be a little bit harder for you to blend, but that's fine. We got time. We're all locked up in the house. <laughs> so we have done, okay, so boom, we got that done. So it's like the under part of the hand. What do you call ele elephant's hand? Someone tell me in the comments, cause I have no idea. I'm just gonna keep calling it hands. Feel free to correct me if you guys know. So once again, this dark gray color. I'm going to go and paint this little square part. If you guys noticed earlier, we didn't color this part, but we are now. There's two little marks in there. If you color over them, it is just fine. They're just kind of two little, it's like a quotations. It's kind of all it is in there. Okay. So you have that part filled in and you don't have to clean up your brush because it shouldn't be that much of that dark color on your on your brush. I'm gonna come back into our regular gray color and we're just gonna start painting the legs. And like I said, kind of following with our brush, the shape of the foot. It's gonna help us a bunch. It'll just make, it just, it just kind of makes it a lot um, cleaner. And said, so you don't, you don't have to, but I think it helps. So same thing, kind of painting right over these toenails. Following that shape again. I'm gonna cover all the shopping marks. Now, if you notice, once you paint this leg, you can start with either one. I just started with this one. Once you paint this, you'll notice that there are some tiny, teeny, tiny little spaces here and here where you're technically supposed to be able to see the background. I forgot those parts and I forgot to tell you guys not to forget those parts. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll actually go back in there um, after we're done with all of our, with all of our gray. Okay, and then we're gonna go in to our white. So dirty brush still, wipe it off if you have a lot of paint, but I'm going to follow this curve with the white. with the white and then I'll do the same thing on this end but I'm just gonna do right here I'm gonna go all the way in because remember this is our this is our darker side the dark side <laughs> but I am gonna go back into our black color Mix it with that gray, make that dark gray color again. And then minus sign, again, I'm gonna come in here, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna paint the bottom half with that dark gray color. I'm also gonna do that over here. I'm not gonna go, oh well, yeah, let's go all the way up. Okay, so I've already done that. You'll probably see the lines again. Wipe the brush off and just kind of go back and forth in here and just blend that all together. Okay, boom. All right. So 
So man, we have most of our, we have, we have basically everything colored. Let's go ahead and do those tiny little parts before we move any further. So I actually ran out of my little purple color. So I'm gonna need to make some more. That's all I'm doing right here. Take a little blue. A little red, a little white. Ooh. Too much red, too much red. <laughs> Put that in there. Da -da -da. So that's good to mix that in with here to get that lavender. Bam, got it. Okay, now with the, now if you've already been using the pointy brush, sorry I didn't tell you this little helpful hint earlier, but I wasn't using it, so I didn't think to tell it to you. With the pointy brush, if you just, oops. one second, I'm recording. Okay, so with, <laughs> my husband's on. so with, with this little brush, um, what I was trying to say, you want to roll it into the paint. Because if you just scoop it, if you see here, it doesn't stay pointy. It's because it has too much paint on the brush. So what you'll do is you'll actually roll it onto the plate. Roll it, roll it, roll it. So that you take the excess paint off of it. And now, boom, you got your point again. So I'm gonna come in with that point and just paint in this tiny, teeny tiny little section right here. And oh, you can you can barely see this one. I'm gonna do it anyway. It's just just because, but you can barely, <laughs> you can barely see it. it's just two two of the teeniest tiniest little triangles. Okay. So since we have this brush. Well, actually, pause. Let's back step. Let's go back to our thick brush. I'm rinsing it out in my water. Get that swishy swish. Taking all that gray off. Now this, this is definitely optional. So in here, if you want your elephant to have kind of rosy cheeks, like it's blushing, you can take a little bit of red and come into a corner somewhere and take a little bit of white. Mix that together until you get the kind of the pink color that you want. If you want it to be a lighter pink, way like teeny, 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 teeny touch of the red. Okay, so have this on here. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to, covered in gray, <laughs> I'm gonna wipe it off. So we're still gonna have paint on our brush, but just not a lot at all, because we don't need a lot. And then with this, with it wiped off, you basically, you want it to look like it's, you want it to feel like it's almost dry, that not a lot comes off at all on it. And I'm gonna come to the cheeks, I'm going to the cheeks. I'm just going to kind of push that color in. Same thing over here. I'm going to kind of push that color in. Bam. Now, if you want it to be a little softer, you can also get your brush, rinse it off, and then with it all nice and clean. Take a little bit of the water off, but kind of keep some, and just kind of go back and forth here. That'll help it not be as harsh, kind of watering it down. Or if you want to tone it down too, you can go back over it with your gray color. 
So you put that pink down and then take a little bit of the gray and go back over it so that it's kind of almost like a grayish, pinkish mix. Or you can actually mix it like this on the canvas first so that you mix the gray, the white, and the red, make like a pinkish gray color and then do that for the cheeks if you want to. If you don't want to, then don't do it. Skip that part. But now we're gonna go back to our, our pointy brush and we're just gonna go straight into the white because what we need, we're actually going to be painting all of the nails now. So my brush is a, I'm, I have my brush a little wet for when I do this. And I'm gonna do the nails in here. Doesn't have to be perfect. But if you want it to be, go for it. So there's just three, three little triangles in here. We're gonna do the other side. Triangle. 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 I'm gonna do the toes. There is a third one in there. Bam. Okay, so once we have all of our toes in, we're basically great <laughs> on, on color. Now, if you wanna come back and do a little bit more highlights, maybe you want your this little ear part to have a little bit more of a highlight. I recommend doing that with the pointer brush. So you can come in here and do like uh, a little line right here. Right, just to make this a little bit brighter because by now this paint up here, since we started off with this, is nice and dry. So it's a lot easier to do some of these highlights. If you want to go back down this nose area, feel free. You know, to put some of those little stripes back in, make it a little brighter. You do the same thing on the inner parts of these ears with this highlight. If you want to make this shoulder highlight pop a little bit more. I wouldn't do it all the way down, but again, if you want to, you just kind of add kind of these some some stronger highlights in here. And like I said, keep it messy, it doesn't have to be perfect. I think that's all, that's all I'm gonna do. I like the highlights there, just kind of makes it pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna rinse all that white off because we're gonna go into our black and we don't wanna make a gray. So going back into the black, you guys are gonna have a lot of leftover paint. So if there is some more canvases or some more ideas that you guys wanna do, feel free. My paint is your paint. Have fun with it. If you wanna paint this five more times <laughs> you do whatever you want so what i'm doing is i'm dipping my my brush into the water i'm not wiping it off i'm keeping kind of some of the water on there and i'm creating kind of like a thinner thinner black puddle over here so i mix it all together 
I'm rolling my brush so I get my point back. Okay, and then, guys. We're gonna be outlining this entire thing, okay? So shake it off. It's all good. <laughs> it's a little, a little nerve-wracking at first to have this little teeny tiny brush and have to go back over and go over all these lines, but you're gonna be just fine. Trust me. It's all gonna be fine. It's all gonna be good. Just you little shaky dance. Mm, mm, mm. Let's go ahead and paint. Now, I will say that if you want to do this and you don't want to use paint, you can completely stop painting at this point. If you have a Sharpie lying somewhere around your house, you can go for that. Um, get Sharpie, basically go back over all of our black lines, and then boom, and sign it at the bottom and you're done. Or if you want to, if you want to do, if you have faith in yourself, I have faith in you. If you want to go ahead and just paint with a paintbrush, you can do it. You got this. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Now don't be scared, like I've been saying this whole time, don't be scared to pick up the canvas and move through it. You know, if you need to hold it, put it at different angles, do what you gotta do. That's actually, that's actually what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring you guys down here. Sit this thing on my leg. And I'm gonna take my own advice. A sip of water. I'm just gonna go over it. Start wherever you feel comfortable. Okay. I'm gonna start over here. And don't do a bunch of, here, let's move this real quick. Don't do a bunch of little choppy lines like this you don't want to do that you don't want to go in there and be like a chop 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 because then you're gonna have a crazy line see that happens see the little line right there that's because i didn't have enough um water on my brush but you see when you do that you have a good amount of water it should just kind of flow and you just want to do some straight lines Okay. So again, got paint on my finger. That is fun. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna make my my watery black paint. It's going to start right here. Ooh. Roll that. So you gotta roll it. If you look down and you have a big old blob of paint on your brush, it means that you didn't roll it. So I'm just gonna start here. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. And if you need to use your pinky to kind of give yourself a little bit of support, do that. Or if you need to turn the canvas, do that too. There's nothing wrong with that. You just gotta breathe and do it. Go for it. We're all gonna be kind of starting in different places. That is just fine. But if you notice that some of your brush marks are really, really thick and you don't want them to be that way, it's that's a pressure thing. So that means that you can be pushing down too hard. You can be pushing down too hard. So if I go, let's, let's move this up a bit. If I'm on this and I press all the way flat, that's a thick line, okay? If I press a little bit, it's a little bit thicker of a line. Now if I barely touch the canvas, see? Barely touch it and pull down. It's a nice skinny line. Or maybe a little bit more pressure. See, it'll, it'll change the, the lines, how, how you push down on it. Just kind of be mindful of that. 
Don't be too stressed out. <laughs> Just paint soft lines. Or if you want them thicker, they look cute thicker too. So that's fine. It is all okay. So I'm turning my canvas again. I'm gonna do this little line in here. I'm gonna do this one. This one, this one. Now for the eyelashes, I'm actually gonna turn the canvas this way. Completely flip it over. Do however you want, this just works better for me. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna start on the inner corner. And then I'm gonna push down as I go and then lift up to flick it. So this will help with the eyelashes. You wanna do like a flick. Or you can just do the line, either one. I'm gonna do the other side. So let's see if I can get a better angle of this. And start on the inside. Let's see, how do I do this? So you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, this is a good angle. I'm gonna barely touch the canvas. And then as I go, I'm gonna push down to make it thicker. And then I lift up to create that point. And do the same thing. Thing. Boom. Lashes. Now you don't have to have lashes if you don't want to. I think she looks really cute with lashes. So that's why I gave her some lashes. But if your Ella, Ella is like really an Eli, <laughs> then... You don't have to put eyelashes on him at all if you don't want to. Or you can't. Either one. So I'm doing this part too. We're gonna be doing everything. And do the trunk. And then, so breathe while you're doing this. Don't need anybody passing out. Just a little bit of black. I know we've done so much work already. No one wants to ruin anything, but it's fine. You're not gonna ruin it. Okay. 